Kermit. Kermit the Frog. I just want to say, I love that. <laughs> so, Mr. Reed. <laughs> Hey guys, let's go ahead and find the mean and standard deviation with the TI-30XS2 or TI-34 multi-view. So the first thing you're going to make sure you do, we're going to find the mean and standard deviation. I got my kids ages 1, 3, 5, and 7. And you want to make sure that you're on the stance mode. You can see you have the stats mode, it says stats right there. If it's not on stat mode, let me show you how to do that. Get out of this. Okay, so normally it says degrees. And to get that, there's the stat in yellow, so I'm gonna press second, data, and then just press enter at one var or one variable and what that'll do is you'll see the word stat now and then for data we're going to put in x1 which is the first number in my list which is my kids ages so I'm going to press 1 enter with a firm click And then the FRQ just means frequency, which just means um, you just want it to be 1. So just press down and you get X2 or the second number in the list. And then you're going to go ahead and put in all of the numbers in the list. And then when you have all the numbers on the list, you're going to press stat bar. And when you do that, it's going to give you a couple of options here. So that just means the how many were in your list. That is your average x bar. Sx is your sample standard deviation and sigma x here is your population standard deviation and if you go one more you have summation of your list and summation squared That just added up all the numbers in the list. Um, Mr. Ang, I have a question. Do I have to divide by zero? No, according to the Ten Commandments of Math, number nine, thou shalt not divide by zero.